Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech, and today we are going to be talking about the new limited edition Transformers X Back to the Future Gigawatt that just shipped. If you guys remember, this is the one that kind of sparked the whole Gigawatt craziness. So Walmart had uh, exclusive rights to sell the limited edition 1985 Gigawatt. So 1,985 limited edition copies of Gigawatt were offered by Walmart back in July of 2020 and they were supposed to come out in October. They didn't. It's now January and they just started shipping. I just got mine today so I'm going to go ahead and do a comparison between this limited edition Gigawatt and the standard issue Gigawatt that everybody's got by now or they should have by now it's very readily available uh, these limited editions are slightly different so we'll explain what those differences are and if you are shopping around for one of these versus one of those what you need to look for so one of the big differences is that the limited edition gigawatts actually came in their own individual like packing boxes in addition to the walmart shipping box so that's kind of cool that actually helped protect them. A lot of these gigawatts that uh, were shipped by Walmart, the standard issue ones, some of them were damaged in shipping. So I've got at least one of these, though the box was kind of shredded on the side right there. For the most part, they were okay, but they could have done a better job shipping these things. They decided to uh, individually box the limited edition 1985 version. When this was first released, it was the same price, $29.95. It's just that with only 1,985 available, these were sold out in a matter of minutes. So right off the bat, there are some small differences. Obviously the California license plate that shows which number you've got is on the limited edition version. But there are also some differences uh, with the box itself. The time circuit date here, the October 26, 1985 date, uh, which is on the limited edition, uh, not on the standard edition. You'll also notice that the box is uh, sh shaped a little bit differently right here, just to accommodate that date. On this side, there really isn't uh, a difference at all. On the other side, there's a little bit of difference in the color. So you've got a little bit of orange here and no orange over here on the standard one. So limited edition has some orange on the side. The biggest difference is on the back. So on the back of the limited edition, you have a much closer view of the, the rear of the time machine. In the standard, on the standard edition box, you just have the flames in the back. Uh, this is mostly like a red orange color. But other than that, there's really not much of a difference. So you'll also notice that the yellow here that's on the side also carries through to the front of the box as well on the limited edition version. So that California license plate right there, that is actually a sticker that has been applied to the box right here. Another very small difference is the UPC code is different on the limited edition version. Uh, you've got UPC codes Slightly different there. That's a 756629 at the end, and the mass produced version has 743520 at the end. So, are there any differences with the actual figure itself? And when you look at these two uh, at first glance, it does not appear that there is. But we're going to go ahead and unbox this, and I can tell that uh, the background of the box art on the inside is different from the mass produced version. It looks like you've got the clock tower or something going on there. So we're going to open these up and we'll go ahead and unbox the limited edition version. Just take a look and see what the differences are. So it looks like the instruction booklet is identical. So here's limited edition, here's the standard edition. Those appear to be the same. The only difference though would be the box art. So the limited edition version Gigawatt has the clock tower from Hill Valley backdrop versus the 
sort of the vintage DeLorean blueprints from the uh, original mass-produced version. So the limited edition has, uh, I think, a, a cooler looking backdrop. Of course, you got to love the DeLorean, the original DMC blueprints. So apparently that's the only difference. So you've got the clock tower in the back. It's blue. Uh, just a couple subtle differences here on the on the box art. What about the actual figure? Well, I'm not notice, noticing much of a difference between the original mass-produced version and the limited special edition version. They look pretty much identical. So there's really not, not much of a difference between the two figures. You can obviously tell they are identical. The gun. The Mr. Fusion, it's all the same. So there you have it, it's been confirmed. There are no differences in the actual figure itself. The only difference is being the box art, both the internal box art as well as the exterior. Now, if you're looking at, at buying one of these, uh, and if you are paying more than $100 for the limited edition, then you might be overpaying. Um, you know, the, the what I've noticed is that lower numbers are more difficult to come by. So uh, higher numbers like in the 1200 to 1900 range are readily available. Lower numbers, three digit numbers. Uh, I haven't seen anything lower than uh, 300 in the 300s. I've got the 606, there's seven, eight, nine. Those are, are out there not as common as uh, the four digit ones. Another thing I did notice is that there were some misprints out there. Some of the 500s actually have the uh, red background on the inside and uh, the same box as the uh, mass produced version. They might have recycled some of those for use on the limited edition ones and then just slapped a sticker on the front. Anyway guys, that's the video. If you have any questions or if you have any comments about this, go ahead and drop those down below. And once again, thanks for watching. You've only seen it a thousand times. Why not go back?